the decision was made to transfer the water of the bay and the historic landing from the Division of Boating over to the Division of State Parks, primarily because our administrative rules allow for two things. One is we can close areas, which Dobor couldn't do under state parks, and we can miraculously, we had better regulatory language for the regulation of vessels than Dobor did in, and as it applied to this situation. So we went through a, a series of evaluations on how to do that and finally came up with uh, a permit system that enabled us to achieve two of the primary goals we wanted to achieve. The first goal was to eliminate the over 75 kayaks a day that were landing here and tying up to trees, hiking and going up to the monument and essentially people defecating and leaving rubbish all over this you know, significant archaeological you know, compound here. So that was the primary goal, was how do we stop that? And the second goal was how to eliminate over at the historic Napopo Landing the um, decades-long illicit uh, rental of kayaks and other illicit substances and uh, essentially people strong-arming tourists for parking and uh, essentially extorting them in some ways to, for kayak rentals. So the best way we, we could come up with it was to say that the only way to enter the bay was to get a permit from state parks but that nobody would be allowed to land at Kavaloa Flat and nobody would be allowed to launch from the historic landing with the exception of at that time um, there were four board approved tour companies of which these guys are with Aloha Kayak uh, were the only entities that were allowed to land here at Avili, do their tour, come back but under a, a fairly strict time frame and uh, a, a fairly rigid uh, number of trips per day but also with the component that they haul out all of their patrons human waste. So that was essentially how we explained that the commercial element got to continue to land is because their permit requirement in order to maintain their business required that they take care of this um, in terms of the human rubbish. And then we also added an element that um, several times a year they come and work with our staff on, on you know, doing malama to this whole place and clean it up for the privilege of being able to, to land here, you know, commercially, which has worked out really well.